Good morning, guys. Happy week three. Let me make sure I turn this down. Okay. All right, we'll just give it another minute for people to get settled. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Tuesday. Hope you had a good weekend. Those who are um, using oils today, we're diffusing on guard. So hopefully you have some. Hopefully you have not run out yet. <laughs> um, I haven't checked the latest. Let me just see if I have a quick email from um, about the updates of On Guard. Um, obviously, during this time, the protective blend is something that is super important to have on hand to be diffusing a lot, to be um, having the hand sanitizer if you can get that. The reason I say um, I'm not sure is because. Uh, they always send me updates about what's sold out or not. So let me just see. Okay, I don't have anything super new. <clears throat> so we'll see if we get any updates today and I will keep you posted. All right, so go ahead and um, like I said in the description today, we're doing hip opening. So, um, we're going to need, see, this is just in case you have, um, really close hips and you need props to, to just open them up, um, for some different things that we're going to do. Um, so you're going to need pillows. Okay. I have, um, my bolster back here and then my yoga blocks. If you don't have yoga blocks, Tupperware and stuff wouldn't be great for this kind of thing today, but more like big pillows, big blankets um, that you can kind of fold up on top of each other and use um, for supporting your your chest, your belly, uh, your knees, stuff like that. Okay. So get some water, tea, smoothie, whatever you need to nourish. And let's get started. Again, just as a disclaimer, I'm facing this way because my son is watching a movie right behind the uh, Iron Curtain here. And, um, it, it's cars, so it might get a little loud. So we're trying to keep it out of balance where he can't hear me and we can't hear his movie super loud. <laughs> so thank you for your patience with that. I'm sure a lot of you are dealing with different unexpected things this month. And so here we are week three and go ahead and find your comfy seat. Close your eyes. My diffuser is going behind the camera, um, on with on guard. And it just helps so much to feel protected, to be protected. And so come into your comfy seat. doesn't matter what your legs look like. Just be comfy. You can always use a chair. And then go ahead and really root down through the sit bones. So you're going to root down through those knobby bones in your butt. Breathe in deep into the belly. And relax the shoulders on an exhale. Okay, just let that natural curve come into the space, into the back, and settle. As part of my doTERRA team, anyone on my wholesale account, my, uh, my mentor is a world-class yogi, so she does her yoga. She just started every Monday, so I get the nice treat of getting yoga private yoga on our team. So anyone who's on my team can get the same thing passed down through her. And so I feel nourished. And so I hope these classes nourish you. Inhale into the belly, exhale. So here, centering today, we're just coming back, right? We're just coming back to the breath. Maybe you haven't done yoga since last week or took a little break. And so go ahead and start to really drink in 
all the newness that's happening. This is a time, guys, to really be shedding the old. So I want you to be shedding the old stories. Okay, today hip opening is really all about uh, releasing stuckness. It's all about um, releasing the old and releasing old emotions. So with hip opening, you really release a lot of stuck energy. Okay, so be prepared for that. And be prepared to, again, drink lots of water, lots of fluid flowing for you today. Okay, and so breathe in to the belly. The mantra today could be, I release the old, okay? And what we're doing is, because we're stuck in this place, because we're stuck in this quarantine, all these different things are happening, like the healthcare systems are getting overwhelmed, and, um, you know, the economy is, is doing crazy things right now. And so the systems are really being looked at by everybody, right? Even myself starting to contact um, different systems within the state and just voice my opinion in a kind, compassionate way. But just like, listen, it'd be great if we could do this and have benefits like this and, you know, just for future things. And so think about in your life what systems are not working, okay? This could be emotional systems. This could be systems in your home, like how you organize. This could be um, just your routines. And so today is all about kind of looking at that because now that we're home in this perspective that we can really see everything like 24 seven at home, how it's working, okay? And again, something that I do on my teams is teach my um, my folks who want to learn about doing online businesses and, and being an entrepreneur, how to create these systems and schedules and routines that really work for you designing your life, right? In this way that we're leading from the front line. So go ahead and whatever um, aspect of that you want to take with you to your practice, to your life today, go ahead and breathe that intention in. So maybe, you know, I am the leader of my life or I am the designer of my life. And I can, I can change my perspective. So see what works for you. Take that in, drink that in. And then on your next full inhale, as you breathe into the belly, let it expand into the ribs, let it expand into the heart, let it expand into the shoulders. And let it come into the head. And as you exhale, bring your hands down into heart center. Good. We're going to begin on one sound of peace. So you can join in or listen. Okay. Inhale. Oh. Good. Inhale. As you exhale, release your chin just a little bit. Release your hands towards your knees. And if you're in this Sukhasana position, this easy pose position, you're just going to start to move in a big circle here. Welcome, guys. So good to practice with you. Let me know after you've practiced who's here. I can't see right now. But um, so good to have you live in the community. And so what we're doing here is just opening, right? opening the hips a little bit. <sighs> Breathe in any way that feels good to you. Inhale forward. Exhale back. And then as you get a little kind of done with that side, you're going to bring um, your other foot in front of the other of the other one. So switch it up and go the opposite way. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Good. Okay, so again, releasing. Seeing what we can release. If you feel tight, this tight spot, see if you can release them today. We're just going to try to let go of that. Good. Now as you inhale, you can keep your legs here or switch them the first way. The first way is usually the 
least resistant way, right? We're just going to do some inhales forward with the heart and then exhales back. So we're doing a cat cow seated. Good, inhale, exhale, seated. Inhale forward, exhale back. Right, so open the heart and then open the upper back as you exhale. Good, and you can go into the um, middle back if that feels good. You can go kind of into the mid of the spine just to see if you need to release anything there, okay? And as you inhale, release that. Bring your hands behind you, fingers forward. Release the feet. This is one of my favorites. I do it often. It's like a very quick hip opener, just back and forth, right? Release back and forth. And so that's the first step to releasing the hips. And go ahead and exhale the hip um, legs to the right, okay? And you're just going to notice that, okay? The, le the right hand can stay behind you. And as you kind of roll forward and back, I'm always massaging the muscles that are tight, right? So that's why you see me doing this. You're just going to kind of massage the thigh. You can massage the hip, right? Dig in the knuckles or the um, thumb into the hip. And so you can lean one hand back. Now, if you want to go a little deeper, you can actually bring hands on either side of that um, bent knee and just kind of wiggle back and forth. Okay? So this is really just like opening the hip a little bit. Why don't you just keep deep breathing in through the belly. And two. Good. As you inhale, come back now with both hands, uh, fingers forward again, and just release that side to side. Side to side. And then as you exhale to the second side, so to the left side. And you might keep that left hand back there and just kind of start to dig into the um, thigh, right? So you're going to just massage it as you, as you dip forward and dip back. Inhale, back. And then when you're ready, you can bring both hands on either side of the knee. And so go ahead and start to stretch through the neck just real lightly so you can kind of turn one way and like kind of almost open the chin, right? Do like a little underbite and then the other way. And then exhale, release back to center. Good. So now we're just going to roll over to hands and knees, okay? Do some cat cows there and then rest our forehead for a minute. So go ahead and find your alignment. So find the wrist right underneath the shoulders. You're going to find the knees right underneath the hips. And as you spread your hands and really root down through the fingertips, okay? So they're evenly spread. I want you to like really feel the weight underneath the fingertips and the knuckles and try to get off the wrist a little. We don't lift the wrist. We just consciously move the energy uh, towards the fingertips and the knuckles, okay? So as you inhale, lift through the heart. I don't do like a super um, curvy down dog, um, cat and cow, but if you want to, then go for it. So I'm going to drop the belly, lift the heart just a little. And as you exhale, you curve to your ability and then just drop the head. Right, so you can really feel um, at least the head releasing and all the connective tissue here. I can even feel this in my little back, right? So inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, exhale. Now you can go pretty quick if you want, um, if you have a healthy spine, number one, and if you want to um, energize and heat up, okay? Or you can stay slow and go with a long breath. So do about three to five more, depending on your pace. Okay, so now we're just going to move into a wide-legged child's pose. So some of you will bring your toes together and your knees wide, and then sit all the way back. I'm just gonna show a modified version. So I have blocks here. Um, you can use, um, you know, different Tupperware and stuff like I had mentioned in, in earlier videos, but 
Um, pillows in between your feet would be fine or a rolled up blanket, like almost to a block side. And so what I do here is I actually squeeze um, the block with my feet, okay? And then this upper block, which you could use pillows or blankets, they could actually come under your belly and your forehead. So if it's, if it's hard, right, to come down. The other thing you can do is um, actually sit on, on a block, right, right in the middle. And then this can come right on the forehead. So take your nice little restorative child's pose. So take about three more, five more breaths here, nice and slow. Just let the head sink down. You can stretch out the arms or keep them beside you. And then as you inhale, you can keep the props there if you have them under your belly um, and under your hips. So what we're going to do is stretch out the fingertips and then exhale wide over to the left. So go ahead and really feel that right hip reaching back, the left um, hip stays put. And then you stretch out those fingers and then exhale, relax the head down. So you're really breathing into that right side body, okay? Take four more breaths here. Three. Good, and two. As you inhale, come all the way center, exhale to the other side. Stretching through that left side, right? Really breathe into it. And then as you inhale, come back to center. Awesome. All right. So from here, we're going to just do a down dog to stretch it all out. And then we start to come into lunch. So if you know you need a chair for modification or if you have blocks or this is where, um, you know, boxes or Tupperware might come in handy just to walk up. But I'll show you modifications. You're just going to plant the hands and come up to downward facing dog. Just check this in. Good. Tuck it up. So go ahead and um, really let one knee bend and straighten the other leg, and then let one knee bend, straighten the other leg. Go ahead and walk this out. Okay. Really again, push through the finger um, pads, right? Push through the knuckles. Straighten into the calf, straighten into the hamstrings. Okay, breathe into that. And here, I want you to actually let the hips get really into it, right? So you can you can kind of move to one side and then move to the other side. Let the head just hang in between the arms. Good. And three. And two. Exhale. Find stillness just for one breath. And as you exhale, release it down. Now from here, stay where you are. We're just going to start to wiggle side to side, okay? So as you wiggle the hips side to side, go ahead and let the hips come over to one side and gaze at it, right? So I'm doing my right. You just bring the hips over to one side and gaze at it. And the front opposite um, arm and shoulder is being stretched. You can reach the chin towards that hip. Three and two. Inhale back to center, and as you exhale, turn your hips to the opposite side. Gaze toward that side, and let the opposite elbow release as you release some tension in the um, opposite neck, side of the neck. Three, and two. Inhale back to center. We're going to do it again. Exhale from my side. It's the right side first. Release the left shoulder, then the left elbow. And three, and two. Inhale back to center. Exhale, hips to the second side. Release that right chin now, the right side of the neck, right elbow. 
Inhale back to center. Last side, right? First time, first side again, rather. Exhale, release that. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Release that. Good. So from here, awesome. We're going to plant the hands, okay? We're starting to open that hip on the right side. So go ahead and bring the right um, knee out to the side and make little circles here. I'm going to kick my wall here. Inhale, open. Exhale, kick it back. Inhale, open. Exhale, kick it back. Good. And then after you do about five on one side, you're going to keep the same leg. Just reverse the circle, right? So now you're you're opening it out to the side and releasing it here. Good. Keep your head neutral. I'm just looking up to make sure you can see everything. Keep your head neutral, though. Now what we're going to do here is hold it out to the side for maybe five breaths. It's good. And if you want even more, you can bring it out to the side. Three and two. Inhale. Bring it back. Exhale. Release. Shake out those hips side to side. Wiggle them back and forth. Awesome. From here, we're going to open that left hip up, okay? Go for it. Little circles here. Let you go at your own pace. Good. Reverse the direction of the circle. Same leg. And then as you inhale, let's hold it out to the side. Okay? Maybe it's... Yeah, in a second. Maybe just hold it here. Maybe hold it out to the side. Three, two, one. Inhale, bring it back. Shake it out. Give me one second. Keep shaking out those hips. What would you like? Okay, listen. Stop interrupting me when you're doing a video. Promise? Okay, we're going to keep this down, okay? Okay. So from here, go ahead and... Now we're going to take uh, those lunges, okay? So a couple ways you can do it. You can just bring that right foot all the way up. Um, you can use your blocks. Or if you don't have any props, go ahead and just start to come up onto your uh, shins. And then walk that right foot forward, okay? From here, we're just going to dip down, inhale up. Right? Dip down, exhale. So you're kind of like releasing the breath as you exhale. That's why we do it. When we go down. Now try to keep the hips um, nice and square here. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to do this about 10 times, right? So you got to be dynamic. A little dynamic flow. Inhale. Exhale. If you want to do something different with your arms, you can just reach up here. Now I wanted to show, so for those of you who are fine with this, you're going to stay here for a minute. For those of you who, uh, for whom this is hard, you can actually do this on your back. So go ahead and uh, get on your back right now. And all you're going to do is bring that right foot in. And then uh, the right knee in and the foot goes to the ceiling. Okay, so go ahead and try that. Last couple here. Good. Awesome. Now from here, we're going to hold it for a little bit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to lean into the hip. You can just stay there or if you need props, you're going to hold onto your chair or your blocks or you're just going to scooch that back knee a little further so the hips come down lower. Okay. So here we're just going to hold the breathe in. Hello, come over here. One second. I'm doing a video. What's, what's up, honey? And here the TV. Turn it up two notches, that's it. Okay? It's over there. Okay. So you just dip into it. You just kind of drop in to the hips. And so I want you to breathe into the hips here. Okay? Breathe into the front hips. Three, three. And two. Now from here, we're going to root down and inhale, push off our fingertips, right, or our chair, and open up that front leg. Now, you want to continue to breathe deeply, inhale. Now for those of you who are on your backs, all this is is a bent knee, like a half happy baby, and then a straightened leg to the ceiling, basically. Right? 
And again, you can lift up into, lift up your torso if you want. If you have a bed back, you just should stay on your back. So almost everything that we do standing can be done on your back. Like you could argue that each position is just a different kind of way to do it, like vertical, whatever you get what I'm talking about. I'm so distracted with cars movies. Okay. And as you exhale, release this. So those of you who are on your back, go ahead and roll over. See if you can come with us. We're going to just do a standing lunge now, a crescent. Okay. So from here, those in lunge, you're just going to tuck the toe, lift the back knee. From here, squeeze the muscle energy in. So that means squeeze everything in like you're hugging the midline of the body. And as you root down, you're going to keep that back toe tucked so the heel's lifted and you're going to come to standing. Okay, root down here. So the hips are square. You're going to inhale, lift. And then come into, hands can come into uh, steeple pose if you want. Inhale. Good. From here, guys, we're going to exhale over to the right. So you're going to keep that left foot behind you. Lift it, I mean. Lifting the heel. The three. And two. As you inhale, come back to center and exhale. You're going to counter stretch over to the left. So the right side of the body is stretching. The three. And two. And as you inhale, come back to center. You're going to open up. Exhale. Now go ahead and release down the hand to that lunge and drop the back knee again. You're going to untuck the toe. Okay, release this as you push back and then release the knee. So go ahead and from here, some of you might go to downward facing dog, which is great. Some of you are just going to wiggle side to side and stretch out that way. Just kind of come back to neutral. Notice the difference on each side. Okay, good to have you guys. Let me know later how your hips feel after all this. We're going to come back to center and come up any way that you feel is right. Maybe you start to just pull the belly in and up. Lift onto your shin and inhale that left knee forward. Go ahead, sink in. So remember this one, we're just going to um, hold our hands to our hips and do some dynamic flowing up and back, right? Good. So you really notice um, the difference here in each hip. My my hips are much different on side to side, and it kind of depends on the tightness of my legs, right? Tightness of my back. Good. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. So we're doing about like five more here. So take it slow if you need to take it slow. Inhale. We've got about three more here, right? Working those thighs today. Okay, inhale, exhale, release. Good. So from here, you can hold uh, the blocks. You can hold the chair, okay? If, again, this is too much, you're just going to come on your back and pull that left knee in, okay? Left knee in. If you have blocks, if you have boxes, Coming high would be fine. Inhale onto the blocks. And you're just going to kind of keep moving back and forth until you let the hips come down, right? And you roll the shoulders back. And again, I might, if, I might even have two chairs. If you don't have props at your house, I might have two chairs during this video. Pause, uh, we can't pause it now, but later. And you can have one chair here and one on the other side. And you're just going to hold your chairs here. Okay, three more. And two, as you inhale, we're going to open up. And again, those on your back, you're just straightening out a leg, right? You're kind of lifting it to the ceiling. Same thing, exhale, release. Good, as you inhale, come back. Really breathe deeply into this. Exhale, release. Good, inhale, come on back. Exhale. Good, a few more. Alrighty. Exhale, 
up. Now, from here, we're going to tuck the back toe. Okay, so those of you on your back, come on, join us. So go ahead and touch the back toe. Lift into your crescent. You're going to start to squeeze the legs in. Bring the hands to the hips. Let that right hip come forward, left hip go back. Right, open the heart, release the elbows to squeeze back. Good. So as you squeeze the midline in and up, right, we're engaged in that back thigh, balancing on my back heel. Breathe in. As you exhale, you can bring the hands up or maybe even the cactus, right? But for stretch purposes, we're going to bring the hands all the way up. Let that belly come in. Inhale. As you exhale, lean over to the left. So we're stretching that right side first, the side with the foot back. We're stretching that first. All right? Try to keep that front leg level, which is hard. Three. Then two. As you inhale, come to center. And as you exhale, over to the other side. You're just going to counter stretch. Really stretch out that entire left side. Three. And two. Good. As you inhale, come back to center. Exhale. Release it all the way down. Go ahead. Hold onto your chairs or come down. Uh, tuck the back toe. Okay. And then those of you, we're going to release the hands and knees. Those of you who want to go to down dog. Great. Otherwise, you can just wiggle it out side to side or do some cats and cows, okay? I'm just going to down dog for a moment. Good. So go ahead from your down dog or from your hands and knees. We're all going to glide forward into a high plank or a knee down high plank, okay? So gliding forward. As you exhale, you can lower the knee. And then as you keep the knees and elbows hugging in, lower down. You're going to inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift through the heart. Okay, let the shoulders be lifted and feel that lift in the heart. Three, two, exhale, release. Come all the way down and push all the way back to that child's pose or down dog. Okay, so you can do that wide-legged child's pose again. Grab your um, pillows and props if you need it. Exhale the head all the way down. And those of you in wide-legged child's pose, go ahead and roll the forehead back and forth. Okay. Now from here, we're going to come back to the down dog. Um, and I'll show you the modification of how to get into warrior two. So from here, um, well, first, those of you on your hands and actually, let me do down dog first. Go ahead, down dog, some of you. You're going to bring the right foot up behind you like you're stepping on the wall. You're going to bend the knee, open and stack the hip. Okay? Let's so come. From here, you can open it up to the ceiling. Okay? Now, those of us on hands and knees, we're just going to do kind of what we started with before, which is bring that right knee up. And if you want, you can even drop the left elbow and open up the hip that way. Okay. Now from here, we're going to come back to center. You can use your chair or we're going to come right back like we did. Start to come onto the shins, hands to the hips, and just walk that right foot forward into lunge. Now to get into warrior two, you tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, and then drop the back heel. Now you come into your nice warrior two. Those in down dog know how to get all the way through, right? You step it through. Good. From here, root down through the outer part of the feet. Hands can come wide. Just to get some release, we're going to inhale open to the ceiling. Exhale, release it down. Good. Root down, lift. Exhale, everything down. So you're going to straighten up everything. Really root down to straighten everything up. I'm doing steeple pose at the top. Exhale, release. Just two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Now, as we exhale on this one, we're going to release through the fingertips. Look over the middle finger. That front knee should come on the outside toward the pinky toe, not toward the big toe. Okay? And that back leg is really releasing, so you feel the blade, the pinky blade side coming into the floor. Good. So just relax the shoulders here, right? Really relax. Let the body be straight. Breathe. 
in two. Now from here, we're gonna reverse that front arm and open it up into humble. Now, you can release the top arm here and nothing fancy, this hand is just gonna come and grab it. You don't have to go underneath or anything. It's just gonna release and grab it, right? And then you keep dipping in that front knee. Now this position is just a really simple hip opener for the hips. It might be hard for the muscles, but it's simple for the hip. Good, last three. Good, really stretch that right side too. And as you inhale, you're gonna straighten the leg. Okay, straighten everything out. And then exhale, lean over that imaginary counter. Bring the right hand down to the shin. And then we open up that left hand to the ceiling. Good, let the head and neck be nice and extension of the spine here. Okay, good, for three. Uh, shoulders kind of squeeze together. Not squeeze, but like kiss together. Give them a little. Good. As you inhale, you root down. Okay, stretch that left arm away from you. And now inhale all the way up. Good. You're just going to windmill down onto that lunge again. So if you need a chair, go ahead and grab that. Otherwise, drop the back knee. Now from here, guys, we're going into the lizard. I'm going to face you. You can grab your props here. Okay, grab your blocks, grab your pillows. We're gonna bring the right foot, the right foot should be in lunge position, but we're actually gonna walk it out to the right and the hands come in the center. So if you have your uh, blankets and props, okay, what these are gonna do is actually come right in front of you. So I'm folded them up, right, to a nice thickness. Those of you who go, who go into a full, Lizard, just go for it, right? You can stay here forever. I like to, if I'm using blankets or props or my bolster especially, put it right under the full length of my body. Keep grabbing pillows, guys. Whatever you need to let this be super comfortable, okay? And so what you're going to do is you can stay right here and lift it. But we're trying to get real deep into these open hips. So you can stay there. Some of us are just going to keep coming all the way down, right? So you keep coming all the way down and then just release your head down into the pillow or down onto blocks, whatever you have, okay? Stay there and just let the body fall all the way down, okay? Okay. Okay. So breathe in a few more deep breaths. Now, those of you who love this position, okay, and you're really, really deep, I'm going to show you some more um, deepness that you can do. Those of you who want to come out, all you do is you start to squeeze the leg in. You push yourself back the same way you came in, okay? Those of you who want to go a little deeper, so I'm going to move these out of the way. You, from your lizard... Okay, you're gonna scooch that back foot back even more. So now, like instead of being right on the knee, you're actually kind of more so on the thigh or getting there. From here, you can actually bend that back knee up and you're really deep thigh stretch. Now, to make it a little easier, you can lean on a chair or lean on a block and come and grab that side on the left side, the side that's bending. Or to be a little more open in the hips, which I love, is you're going to lean on your hand um, on the mat, and you're going to actually do an opposite twist. So you're going to bring your hand to the right uh, knee, and you're going to open up here. You can also grab that back hand, okay? But you're really, like, opening in the hips here, right? You're really just, like, letting that knee, you can't see it, I'm in the way, okay? But let it come out to the side. And then inhale, back to center. Now I want to show you something... Uh, a little, one more deep thing, okay? You're actually going to move your hands towards the mat here, uh, towards me. And here's something crazy. So this looks probably pretty funky to you guys. So we're going to tuck that back toe, and we're coming into a lunge, and we're dropping the heel. 
But now we're going to be facing the middle part of the mat. And then just to get a deeper stretch, we're going to take this hand and push that knee away from us, okay? If this isn't in your wheelhouse, you're just going to keep going back and forth like I told you before, okay? But you can push that knee open to get a little deeper stretch, okay? Now to come back, you just take your hands or the blocks and roll back to center into your lunge and release here. So some of you were just doing this and releasing in the middle. That's all you have to do. That's a big hip opener for those with tight hips, okay? Now you're gonna bring your hands on, um, sorry, either side again. Release your knees back. Come up to down dog. Or if you need a rest, guys, you just sit back in your child's pose and rest, okay? So take what you need. Make sure you root those hands down, those in down dog. Release the feet back and forth. And then those who are in down dog, we're going to open the hips on the left. And those who need the knees down, we're going to do that as well. So again, if you're in down dog, you just bring the knee up, open and stack the hip. Let that foot come to the ceiling if that feels good. Those on hands and knees, you just open the hip to the left. And if you want more uh, openness, you can bring the right forearm down and come open here. Okay, three. And two, and as you inhale, you come all the way through. Down doggers, you're gonna step that foot all the way through as you square the hip. Everyone else modifying, root down, nice and easy. Let the hands come back, pull, come up to seated on the knees, on the shins, and bring that left foot forward, okay? So again, to come into your warrior, you're just gonna either use your chair or your blocks or fingertips, root down, tuck the back toe, lift the back leg, drop the back foot, okay? Good. So as you inhale, now you're in that warrior. Okay, you're in that warrior, rooting down, and we're just gonna make it a little dynamic. Root down, lift up, inhale. Okay, we'll turn it down a little. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Do this four more times. Good. Keep going. I'm just going to turn so I can face you. Okay. Now from here, you inhale. And as you exhale, release into that. Four, two. Open the hips, right? You're just opening the hips. Let them open and let them be aligned. So feel that thigh reaching out toward the pinky toe. This back foot is really kind of blading. I like to call it blading into the ground from the outside. Release the shoulders. Release the fingertips away from you. Gaze over that middle finger. Find a gaze point. Three more breaths, guys. Good. Strong breath in through the midline of the body. Three. And two. As you inhale, flip that front palm. Release it. Did I do this before? Yeah, I think so. You're going to open up. Yeah, and then we bent the elbow. Let the knee, the, what is this? It's a hand. Not a knee. The hand comes down. And this arm, nothing fancy underneath. You just grab it. You open up that left side. So good, right? So those, the foundation of your legs is real strong. Even if it's shaking because the muscles, right? we got to build the muscles. Let it shake. Two more. As you inhale, release that. Release the hand. You're straight now, okay? Lean over that imaginary counter. Drop that left hand. The right hand can come up. It can come down. It can, it can come to the other wall, okay? If you have your shoulders... Uh, arms in opposite direction. Drop the shoulders. So you're squeezing the shoulder blades. Kello down. Kello down. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Relax the shoulder blades together. Reach through opposition. Reach through opposite hands. Three. Two. Root down. Okay. Let the hand come down. The right hand. Root down. Come all the way up. Inhale. Good. Now we're going to windmill down. Okay. We did. <laughs> I'm like, there's cars in the background. What did we do? You windmill all the way down. Release onto the hands or the blocks, okay? And you're coming into that lizard. So the hands are on the, on the inside. So I'm going to stay here instead of facing you because now you know 
what we're doing. You're going to grab your props if you need the props, okay? And pull them. I'm going to do pillows first this time. Blankets on top. Right underneath the torso. And then you just let, it's so nice because you let the black thigh, instead of being in the air, you just let gravity, let it rest over your props, okay? Your hands can be here, right down on the mat, okay? Again, if you have, imagine if we had like four chair yoga, those who need some more support, be so happy. It's totally possible. Anything is possible in yoga. It's just an awareness practice. A movement and awareness practice so anything's possible so you can do whatever support you need so those in, in full lizard go ahead and really let the head drop if you can As you inhale, you release your hands back down, okay, to push up. Now, if you want to get out of this, remember, you just use your hands nice and gingerly, bring your hands on either side, and you just start to open out and get out of the hips, okay? Otherwise, we're going to come down, and those of you who want to go deeper, really stretch that back foot back. You can even bend it, okay? And again, you can come to that same side and open up here and grab the foot. But you can also start to kind of lean out to the side, open that left knee a ton, like really just let it open. This is a different hip opener and then grab the foot behind you. Try to relax the front body again. You can hang out here for like five to 30 seconds because when you, when you hang out in a pose for 30 seconds, like all the blood rushes to the space of the knee. And the hips really open slowly, so allow that to happen. Three, two, inhale, release that. Now here's my little trick. We're going to release that. We're going to start going toward the right side. So for me, it's the wide part of the mat. And what I'm going to do is you can, you can just stay here and open that back knee, but I'm going to tuck the back toe again. Okay, come in and really let the hips go back. So I'm, now I'm in the square hips facing the side again. I'm just going to plant my hands and then reach my left hand back and open that knee up. It's a beautiful hip opener to kind of be in this wide position and just release that back. It's so good. Three. Release the head to neutral, right? Two. Good. You can come back to that lunge position, okay, and then just release that. And then start to come back to down dog or remove your props, okay. And you can do a little flow. Those who aren't flowing, aren't going into down dog, just wiggle the hips or pat and cow yourself. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see how much time we have left. I wanted to do a couple more things. Let me just do, yeah, let me do two of them. What we're going to do is from this knee position, okay, knee down position, we're going to bring, we're either going to bring that right foot all the way forward and put it in front of us like so, okay, or you're just going to walk one knee in front of the other so the right knee can stay. It's a little easier and then put that uh, left knee right behind it. So this is called cow face. Now this is where you're gonna need a lot of props. So watch first and hang out in hero or something and then see what you need. We're gonna actually walk back and sit into cow face pose. So the right knee is directly on top of the left, okay? And then the feet are out to the side. So if you need blankets or props um, to come and sit, Right? 
messy job there, but you know what I mean? You're going to sit on the props. Now, the other thing is for a modification, um, one foot can actually come way out to the side and the second foot can come way out to the side. Now, some of you are feeling this so tightly in the knees right now, okay? So you can also stick a pillow or a block in between the knees like so, okay? And that will be much comfier. So from here, um, the right knee is on top. So what we're going to do is open the hands up in here. <sighs> Relax. And then put the left hand to the ceiling, the right hand down. Now you can bring the right hand to the low back, and you can bring the left hand to the head. That's fine. Some of you will be able to touch the hands and squeeze them in back. I, I see a little monkey. Okay, so this is cow face pose, and it's really intense. Hey, cutie. And so the elbow stays straight up, or it comes here. Kella, look at Mommy's in the middle of the video. Will you do this with me and be a nice boy? Okay, three. And two, as you inhale, open the arms. We're just going to go the other way. Now I'll show you what we're going to do. Two ways to get out of this. You can either release the hands and simply just release the feet. Go ahead, release the hands back and release the feet and then just switch them. I'll show you a fun way to get out of it. You're gonna keep the feet here. Take the hands, you're gonna turn toward whatever foot's on top, you're gonna turn toward that foot. Turn here. The hips come up, you release into this. Show the butt to the world. And when you come around to the other side, you're in the perfect exact, um, cow face on the other side. So if you are watching this later and want to pause and try that again, <laughs> go for it. If you're with me now, just get there some way, shape, or how. The knees on top, the feet are to the side, or they can come way in, those of you who are more flexible in the hips. Okay, but either way, you're propping yourself up, and then you open the arms out, and if the left knee is on top, the right hand is going to come up. Okay, the hand can come behind your head and the left hand down by your lower back. Otherwise, you can touch your hands behind you, right, kind of grasp them. As long as the head and neck is straight and as long as the elbow is reaching up. So beautiful. Let's count together through deep breath here. It's a hugely hip opening posture. Three and two. Inhale, release it out. Breathe in, exhale, release. I might go deeper into hips later this week because I had a few more things that I really wanted to do with you. Now, same thing, you can either come out the way I showed you or just lean back and open the hips. And you can shake them out or you can just rock and roll side to side. Okay, the last thing I really wanted to do with you, let's see if we have time, is um, come onto your belly. So go ahead and come onto your belly. And if you can't come onto your belly, you can just come onto your back and open uh, the leg out to the side, but this is going to be even deeper for those of you who want to go deeper. Come on to your belly. You're going to take on your belly, you're going to take your left knee and just poke it up to the side. Now, notice your foot. Sometimes it wants to hang out way in. I want you to see if you can let it come at a right angle. So the knee comes at a right angle from the hip, the foot comes at a right angle from the knee. Now, the upper body, if you can't let it come all the way flat, You're going to take your pillows and props and start to hug them all here, okay? Just relax. I want this to be very restorative. So go ahead and relax it down. Okay, really let everything go here. We're going to be here for at least a full minute. Let everything go. Like I said, the theme was at the beginning, right? Really releasing stuff from the hips. You really want to let it go here. As you inhale, start to push off that hand, okay? You're going to start to move the props out of the way, or you can move them just to your right shoulder. You're going to thread that right hand all the way through. 
And you're just gonna, now this is actually pretty cool. The props are actually feeling delicious right now. And you're just gonna lean your back on the props. Those of you who don't have props, you're actually gonna bring your upper back completely to the ceiling. So those of you who are a little more flexible, you're gonna toggle between left knee down, left shoulder down. So the left knee is twisted down, left shoulder down. Those who need more props, this is awesome because the props just prop you up here, okay? Now, if that shoulder is hanging an elbow way out to the ceiling or like something like this, I want you to bend the elbow and bring your hand right to your hip, okay? Everyone else, I just want the shoulder to relax. And so you're just hanging out here. And again, those of you who can go flat in the upper back is great. The other prop you can have is blocks or blankets under that left knee. So we really want to be propped up here. And I just realized what else I was going to do tonight. I'm going to take this to the extreme tonight and do opening hip restorative. Okay, so come back tonight at uh, 9 p.m. and we'll do opening hip restorative. So we're going to take this to the max. You'll sleep really well tonight. <laughs> okay, so just a few more moments here. I've been talking you through it. And then as you inhale, roll all the way back to center, right? So you're going to come all the way back on your belly. Go ahead and um, roll yourself back and forth on your belly. And all we're going to do here is poke out the right side. Okay, I'm going to, and then the foot comes out from the other side. So stay here. I'm just going to flip around so y'all can see me. So you're going to be on your belly, right knee comes out, foot from there. Okay. And again, just put blankets under yourself until you feel real supported. Go ahead and relax the head down here. And be really propped so you can relax into it. If you don't have really cloud fluffy props, you're going to get them after this. I love my props. Hey, Cal. Cal, down, please. Thank you. So from here, we're going to plant that right hand, lift up the torso, hook, thread that left arm all the way through. So guys, it's to the point where the shoulder is, is no longer like stuck underneath you. It's actually coming through and the whole upper chest just opens. So what I'm going to do with my props is push them over to my left side, push them over to my shoulder side or my, my, my upper back. And then I'm just going to like stay here. But if your shoulder's hanging way up here, you got to keep threading that arm through. I want the upper back to try to get on the floor. And then you open that right knee might be sticking way up. You just stick a pillow underneath it and opens up that. If the hand is way up, you bend the elbow, let the shoulder relax and just come on to the upper back here. Good. You're just chilling. Like you're like at the beach. Just picture you're at the beach guys. And then as you inhale, come back to center. You can come onto your belly and just hang out there for a sec, but we are going to make our way onto our back. So you can actually just roll right from where you are, right onto your back. Okay. And the last thing, we're just going to go over a minute or two. The last thing we're going to do, okay, is you can come straight into Shavasana, or if you want one more hip opener, you just bring your um, feet together, okay? And you, yeah! shh, hello. And you open the knees up for Supdivada Kanasana. Okay, so you can do this for one more hip opener. Or if you're ready, we're actually gonna come right into Shavasana. So you can let this be your Shavasana, 
or you can just start to straighten the legs out. And if you're coming with me tonight, we're going to do this deep, 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 deep. Okay? I got some things planned for you. So go ahead and find your deepness and stay here for two minutes. I'm just going to go regulate here for one second. to wiggle your fingers and toes and start to breathe deeply into the body to bring the knees into the chest. And as you roll over to one side, let yourself rest here for a moment. Okay. Think about the things you can't control and see if you can smile to them. And as you root down through the hands, start to lift up to seed and eyes closed, hands together at the heart. Take a deep breath into the belly. Relax the shoulders as the corners of your mouth turn up again. We'll end on one sound of peace. One single ohm in just a minute. Take one breath in again. Good, here we go. Feel that resonance move within you. Think of this affirmation. I can now accept all the things, that all the things work out for my greatest good. I can now trust that this event will help me on my path. I can now trust that this event will help me on my path. Today's lesson with Kello so far this morning has been we lose more, uh, we learn more from losing than we do from winning. We've already tested this this morning several times. And so um, see yourself lay down the defenses you have been holding on to and step into grace today. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me. Thank you for joining me in my family yoga time, which was supposed to be relaxing hip opener. And uh, I thank you for your support uh, in community and also your financial donation. Those of us who have lost all of our um, independent contracting gigs uh, are really grateful for people like you. If you are one of them, please, I don't want anything from you or if you need help. Um, I'm also posting lots of resources on my regular page. So um, have an awesome uh, rest of your day. We'll see you tonight. And...
Thanks for joining. Mommy, can I show you something?